guys uh, we are here in this co2 room and we are here to measure the level of the co2 bottles using this ultrasonic equipment we have this equipment and we will use this equipment to measure the co2 liquid level in these bottles okay now this equipment as you can see uh, okay maybe you can see now yeah <coughs> and this is the transducer there are four studs on the transducer these four studs have to be in contact with the bottle and using this arm we can extend and you know retract this arm for the diameter of the cylinder it can be used to measure different diameter cylinder for our cylinder the idea is to keep this transducer in the middle of the cylinder so yeah more or less like this so this is the arm which goes on to the cylinder side for support and these studs have to be present you know pressed these studs have to be pressed so that we can take a right sounding now the idea is to get the idea is to get 100 on this display wherever we get 100 that shows the correct level so we will start we will start and let's see how much it is right now we have to press it firmly we have to press it firmly so that all the four studs are in contact then only we'll get a good info figure right now it is showing 77 so we'll go a little higher again press it very firmly it is showing 199 101 if you can see so this is the correct level for this cylinder we have co2 liquid level until this level Okay, we are here now checking the level of the cylinder. Idea is to get hundred on this display. As I press the studs firmly, I am getting a figure of one zero eight. So I go a little down, and then I press it again. I am getting one zero zero one 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 zero six, which is fairly accurate. Which is fairly accurate, and we can assume that the level of liquid. CO2 liquid level is somewhere here. Okay. Now let us try another another cylinder. Again, same thing. Diameter is the same. We just press it so that all the studs are in contact with the bottle. The figure shows is 77, 79. I will go a little higher. Let's see. As I press, I am getting a figure of 116. so i need to come a little down again make sure the start the pressed and keep on changing the place until you get a figure of yeah okay right now i am getting a figure of 90 108 106 it is fluctuating in this place so this is the correct level of co2 liquid in this bottle Let's do one more. Okay, now this is the bottle. I am pressing, making sure all the studs are in place. It is showing a value of 92. And again, I press. It is showing me 92 or still. See, since I went so high above, and it is showing me a value much higher than 100. That means I am in the gas area of the bottle. bottle is empty here the value of more than 100 shows that gas is it is gas is present in this area and not the liquid so i need to come down a little so as to find the correct liquid level in this it is still showing 130 so i need to come down i come down it is showing 112 i come down further 
it is showing on 03 103 99 it is fluctuating so this is the correct liquid level of this bottle so this is how we need to do the calibration and we need to check the level of liquid in the co2 bottles over a period of let's say one year 